Hello everyone, welcome to Ageless Rock. In this video, we are going to take a quick glance at the Cyclopean Wall of Kosa in a small town of Ancidonia in the region of Tuscany in Italy. In this small town of Ancidonia, west of Italy, there is a big stone wall. This Cyclopean Wall of Kosa is believed to have been built approximately 2300 years ago. This area has some interesting megalithic culture at some point in history. You can add the Tagliata Etrusca, Ax of Corsa, and Comitium and Korea to your Cyclopean Wall trip. The Cyclopean Wall is about 1.5 km in perimeter and has 18 towers. A simple trace around the perimeter and overlap it on Google Earth will give you an idea of the aerial view. At approximately 100 meters above sea level, it would have been a great place for a fort or a fortified city, but it is neither a fort nor a city. With all the mainstream history and archaeology, no one can explain how these stones were made and how it got here. For now, the Romans get the credit for this polygonal wall construction, even though there isn't any evidence in oral or written history. The difference between megalithic stone blocks and Roman bricks are in stark contrast. It is very clear that the Romans built around the existing structure. There is no shortage of photos for you to see from the internet. Some parts of the wall are high, while some are pretty low. The quality of this wall is very good as a fort, but it is too low to prevent enemies from climbing over. Since Catholics and Christians believe in the biblical Nephilim giants of Genesis chapter 6 verse 4, it was mainstream to believe it was built by giant race in the days of Columbus. Despite the mainstream narrative that Romans built this, the Italians insist they have nothing to do with this impossible masonry. Romans did not drag this to the top of the hill. This is not even Italian architecture, but yet mainstream gives the recognition to the ancient Romans. Look at this 10-sided block. Pretty amazing for someone who has too much time and nothing to do. This is not a fortress as it does not surround any structure for prevention purposes. As usual, a later civilization found this place to be suitable and started a small community and it grew to a small town. A later civilization collected rocks and stacked them as dividers and walls. That is what humans were capable of in recent past. The later brick civilization just built around the existing megalithic blocks. Another megalithic site nearby is Tagliata Etrusca. It is just a short walking distance towards the east, down to the beach area. Although the name is called Tagliata Etrusca, this massive bedrock cutting was chiseled by Romans to prevent seal from building up that would affect the port. But this massive bedrock carving looks more like an advanced technology which sliced the bedrock like butter. If the Romans chiseled this with ancient chisels, do they have to also dress it to make it smooth? Looks like a slicing technology to me. The hill is not very big and will take forever to render the pot useless. I don't think Romans hewn this bedrock with ancient chisels to save a pot. Let's take a look at the larger picture. This is a massive bedrock engineering project, not at the human scale, if the only tool is chisel. It would be a thousand times easier to just start a new port along this beautiful coastline few hundred years later. No need to chisel bedrock. You can see similar engineering handiwork in Ladibella Church in Ethiopia. This is not something ancient civilization people would do even if you provide them with carbide steel chisels. You can see the similar technology was employed at Damrajeshwar temple in India also. You can check out my videos on Damrajeshwar temple in India and Lalibela church in Ethiopia. 
I'm pretty sure they are the same megalithic bedrock slicing civilization. In a more realistic scenario, the Great Wall of China was only stacking earth and straw approximately 2,200 years ago. It became more common and short walls were joined to make it longer. Some even suggest that small walls already started construction about 2,700 years ago. This is the time when China was made up of seven states and they were at war with each other. Historically, it is known as the Warring States period. These two types of walls appearing at around the same time is something highly unlikely. The Cyclopean Wall is so advanced, we don't even do this today. I just compared the soldiers and their weapons of choice. The spears and shields used by them were more or less the same. That means the masonry technology to deal with bedrock has yet to be invented, at least not at industrial scale. Do you think the Romans chiseled their way down the bedrock so that soil can flow down here instead of flowing to the sea? This is a cliff and is not suitable for a pot anyway. By the way, I think you can easily construct a drain and clean it up once every few years. So let's recap. We have a channel that is impossibly human achievement. Bedrock slicing technology like those in Ethiopia and India and impossible polygonal masonry just like those around the world. So what do you think? Is it alien, lost civilization, or simply thousands of hardworking Italians with a million chisels? Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching my presentation on Cyclopean Wall of Cosa in Ancidonia, and see you next time. Arrivederci a presto.